सो ग्रीटिंग्स एवरी वन होप यू आर ग्रेट सो टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थापुर यूनिवर्सिटी डेरावासी कैंपस वर्सिज थापुर यूनिवर्सिटी पटियाला कैंपस एंड अलॉट ऑफ यू आर आस्किंग मी इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट शुड वी टेक डेरावासी कैंपस और पटियाला कैंपस इफ यू आर गेटिंग सी एस सी और सी ओ ई ब्रांच एट थापुर यूनिवर्सिटी सो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ डेरावासी कैंपस एंड एंड वी आर ऑल्सो बी टॉकिंग अबाउट पटियाला कैंपस एज वेल सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड प्लीज कंटिन्यू वॉचिंग Also make sure you subscribe the channel and like the video if you find it helpful and yeah let's just start the video So basically I just took a help from my friend for making this video because he stayed at Deravasi campus for 2 years and now he is there at Patiala campus after 2 years he is in CSC branch So he told me a lot of things about Deravasi campus which I am going to tell so I have also make notes so that I don't miss anything So the first thing we'll be talking about the Dera Basi campus is the crowd. So basically it's a small campus as you all know. So the crowd is not that much great as compared to Patiala. There is a small crowd. And because of this small crowd and small campus, the campus life is also missing a bit because of which people don't enjoy much in terms of college life and all. But still as it's a small crowd, so it's just like a small family where everyone just lives together and basically everyone knows you and even the MBA students have contacts with the undergraduate students so the ug students know the mba students as well and it goes both ways so yeah that's a good thing and if you talk about the campus it just like a csc department which is there at patiala campus so it just uh, it so it's just like a big building and all that and also there is just and also one of the biggest issues at deravasi campus is that it's surrounded by some chemical factories because there are some because there are various factories at deravasi area so it's surrounded by chemical factories which makes it difficult to you know which makes it smell it sometimes and yeah that's all and of course after 2 years you have to come at patiala campus only so it's your choice if you want to go or not and talking about the pros so so one of the biggest pros is that there is no issue of alcohol or narcotics at derabasi campus at patiala campus also there is not much great issue and of course there are strict rules at both the places but at derabasi campus it's almost 0% so yeah that's a great thing and it's a small campus but still there are basketball and volleyball courts and there is a football and cricket ground as well so till now there hasn't been any indoor badminton court but i'm not sure they are building a new one or not but these are the things that are there in terms of sports till now so my friend also told that the mess food at derabasi campus is quite better compared to badiala campus so he is there at hostel l in patiala campus so yeah that might differ a lot because if we talk about mess food at hapur university patiala so it varies according to hostels for example the mess food at hostel j is considered as the best and food at hostel m is also nice but but generally hostel j has the best mess food because and basically mess food provided by company sodexo isn't considered much great so sodexo is a company which provides mess food at various hostels and sports at thapur university but hostel j has no mess food related to sodexo so there's it's considered best among them and yeah that's it and one more thing about derabasi campus is that of course the campus is small so there is a common mess for boys and girls so, so boys and girls eat in the same common mess together so that's a good thing and and overall it's a peaceful campus because of course uh, small things just make quite because these small things might help you making better and more and more trustworthy connections as well because of course the crowd is small and you can just interact with almost everyone freely so yeah that's a good thing and talking about you should take csc at derabasi campus or coe at patiala campus So I my I personally prefer COE at Patiala campus because of all the exposure and all that but it doesn't matter much when you are there in online mode but hoping but we all are hoping that campus might be reopening soon and everything might get normal soon so you can just choose and of course the first two years are quite you know crucial and quite important for you as a college student because these are the times where you get to explore the life at college and all that so most of the time you have time to explore in first year only and after and from second year onwards you might get a little busy in all that college course and all that stuff so basically first year is most important but many of us couldn't enjoy it 
very much during this covid time but still you can just choose yourself and yeah that's it so talking about the location so dera basi is near to chandigarh city so it's much great compared to patiala although patiala is not much far away from chandigarh it's around i think 70 kilometers only but still dera basi is near to chandigarh so yeah that's a great thing so if you want to go for outings you can just go at the weekends though presently the students who are there at campus are not allowed to leave the campus and they have to stay there only in order to in, in order to just so students are not allowed to leave the campus so that there is less chances of spreading of infection of covid and all that so that's it but normally students are allowed to go out of the campus but what is normal these days doesn't matter this fly is just irritating me a lot so yeah that was it for the video so if you like the video you can just subscribe the channel and like the video as well so i'll see in the next video and in the next video i'll be talking about how you can just upgrade your branches based on your cgp after first year or there is a special test also for upgradation of branches which which occurs in december so i'll be talking about details of that test and also about the cut offs of cgp in the next video also if you haven't followed me on instagram and twitter you can just follow the links are there in description you can just ask your doubts in the dm i try to reply to most of them and and i would like to request one thing whenever you are asking a doubt in dm just try to ask all the questions at once because it's not possible that i try that i just keep chatting with one person for one hour and he or she is just writing one question per line and it's not possible to just chat continuously so you can just ask all your doubts at once so and i will be and i will try to reply to all of them whenever possible so yeah that's it what i wanted to say so yeah that's it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video thank you very much i don't like this fly but what is normal these days doesn't matter so yeah that's it for the video if you liked this go man this fly is just man this fly is just